Hello Scorpio, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for the end of August 2020. This is a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are starting off with an overall message from the Black Moon Astrology cards. And today you got Leo, I will. So you may be dealing with a Leo or it could be the energy of the card. You could have Leo in your chart. Uh, the Six of Pentacles is your first card from the Gilded Tarot Royale. Any of the decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below if you're interested in any of them that will take you to my website along with any other information that you may want to know about me. Uh, the only channel announcement I wanted to say was about the ads on my channel. I do not put extra ads on my channel. I just turn the ads on and I let YouTube do the rest. So if there's a lot of ads, then it's YouTube. It's not me. That's all. I just wanted you to know that. Okay, so let's talk about this Leo card for a second. I have my notes as usual. I don't know these astrology cards too well yet. So and there's a lot of information in the book about these um, cards. So first of all, Leo is the house of children. So there could be something to do with your children here. In the coordinating tarot card for this is the strength card, of course. But this is about being proud and strong, having integrity. You cannot live without a Leo. They make the world fun. Without them, there would be nothing but darkness. They are warm and cuddly. They like to stand out in a crowd. They are usually the clown or the life of the party. You could also be dealing with the public eye stage being in the spotlight, awards, TV, public forums. It's very important to not overlook a Leo. They like attention, and if you don't give it to them, they may resent you. <laughs> the Leo is also about groups, where groups gather. Your talent will be noticed. You may have special skills that are standing out. You may be getting appreciated, rewarded. There could be a new romance on the horizon that is playful and flirty. A career working with the public, working together as a team, possibly being the leader of the team. You are the big news right now. If you take any gambles, you will most likely win. You could be wearing a new hat, making new connections. You may meet people that seem odd or eccentric. Luck is on your side. This card is also about passion, excitement, parties, circuses, back and neck problems, winning after great struggles, competition, and being assertive. So that's just some of the things that it says in the book. I'm going to put this card on the side, guys, because if I keep looking at it, I'll keep calling you Leo. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick it up there out of my vision. Anyway, so Six of Pentacles, Sign of Taurus, is about giving equally. It's about charity. It's about help, assistance. It's about a relationship being in balance. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You may be dealing with this person or you may be taking on this energy. It's about confusion, hesitation, not being able to think clearly. You could also be helping someone that has Alzheimer's, dementia, something wrong with their mind. Show me Scorpio, please, for... This one, end of August, Queen of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, that could be your Leo energy. That's someone who's not confident. Also someone who's not taking action. Ace of Pentacles represents a missed opportunity, but look what's under there, the Wheel of Fortune. So that's changing. There's a shift here. Love the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. 
a bad investment. All right, let's get some more cards. Show me Scorpio for the end of August 2020. Show me Scorpio. This one. Justice reversed. Hmm. Sign of Libra. Knight of Cups reversed. Ooh. Rejection, turning down an offer of love. Something's not fair. Something's not equal. I feel like you put in a lot of energy, almost to the point of exhaustion. And you're not getting anything back from this person. They treat you unfairly. Let's get some more. Show me Scorpio, please. End of August 2020. Show me Scorpio. Someone may owe you money here. You might have to take this person to court. I don't know why that's what they're saying. <sighs> Hangman. Yeah, you're waiting for somebody to pay you. You don't know what to do. This hangman has been everywhere. There's that king of swords on the bottom of the deck again. That could be significant. Looking at things from a different perspective. I, I actually like this card. It is, you know, everybody calls it a stuck card, but it's just being patient, taking time, waiting, thinking about how you're going to handle this situation, not being impulsive, not making a foolish decision. But I feel like you're angry because somebody, somebody's doing something wrong here. All right. You could be dealing with a narcissist. Show me, I don't know if I said that already, but if it's coming up again, I don't really see that here yet. The only card that's kind of making me feel that way is the Justice in Reverse. Show me Scorpio, please, for end of August 2020. What's that one? Huh, there you are. Always got that death card in your reading, Scorpio. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So you're thinking about ending something with this queen, possibly. Or you're not confident in the ending. Or you're not taking action on this ending yet. It's like you're waiting for a response. They're screaming in my ear, court, court, court. I don't know. Are you going to court? Somebody falsified documents here, lied in court. Let's get the last card. Show me the last card for Scorpio, please. Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love. Focusing on yourself. I feel like you're putting an end to something here. Obviously with the death card. Four of Swords reversed. Healing. Done healing. Ready to communicate. Ready to take action. Strength is reversed. Judgment's reversed. There's court. You're tired of dealing with a situation. Somebody, you're thinking about taking somebody to court. Somebody owes you money. Or they did something illegal. The strength card in reverse is also not having courage, not being confident. So you're not getting treated equally. Like I feel like you keep give, give, giving, and then they're not giving back. Or you gave them money. And now they won't give it back? Is somebody trying to get a refund for something here? I feel like you're saying, like, I'm going to give you one last chance to do the right thing and give me what you owe me, or I'm going to take you to court. Somebody made a bad decision about a contract... 
I feel like this person is getting bad karma from the universe because of what they did. Maybe even ill health. Strength in reverse, four of swords in reverse is ill health. Let's get some clarifiers. The clarifiers always bring it together because this is very nice. I feel like you're walking away and starting something new. You got death and rebirth or death and birth. Rebirth, the judgment card is in reverse. So if this is someone from your past, this could be a new start with something that ended. You're waiting for money. You're waiting for someone to pay you. Show me the uh, Six of Pentacles, Angels, please. This one? Moon. It's more confusion. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this situation. This person just keeps treating me that way. Whatever this is, I feel like you're still in this situation. I feel like it's not over yet because I feel like you're thinking about ending it and starting something new because you're not getting treated fairly. But I also feel like you're confused or afraid or not confident or don't have the strength. Show me the Queen of Wands reversed. This came up in um, the Hierophant. Very similar to Libra's reading. The Hierophant is Taurus energy again. But I'm sorry, I wanted to say you do have Libra here, so you could be dealing with a Libra. The Hierophant, if this is work, it's government organization, it's big corporation. But it is about commitment. It is about tradition. It's also about a contract. I'm getting like someone that's mental here and is either locked up in a nursing home or you have to take care of this person and you're tired or you're waiting for someone to end something. Show me this justice card reversed. Show me justice for end of August. Thank you. The High Priestess. Very quiet. Following your intuition. The moon is following your intuition too. Look at all these major arcanas. That's also a contract to me. That's a will. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a secret scroll. It may be like a life insurance policy or something like that. There's some kind of legal document here. I feel like someone owes you money. Or you're getting left money from a person who passed away. And you're fighting this in court. Someone won't give you what's rightfully yours. This could be some kind of family squabble. Show me the hangman. Let's keep going. Show me this hangman. For Scorpio, please. Show me the hangman. What are we waiting for? What are we thinking about? A new path. Because you're unhappy. Hmm. Two of Wands, Aries. King of Cups, that's you. So, Two of Wands, Aries, is standing at a crossroads, holding the world in your hands, free will choice. I feel like you're trying to decide if you want to end something or not, because you're just not emotionally fulfilled, you're just not happy, you just don't feel comfortable. King of Cups is... A good guy. He's a good father, good husband. I know I had this for you before, Scorpio. You're waiting for someone to end something. You're not getting what you want. You're still waiting for this person. It keeps coming up. Someone could be, I don't know, consider secretly going behind somebody's back and doing something illegal. I don't know why that does. It's, it's really, really stuck in my head. I can't, I can't get over the court thing. Show me the death. Show me the death, please. Maybe you're waiting for someone to get a divorce. 
the sun could be a child. Leo is the house of children. That's also your happiness. Your happiness, your happiness, your happiness, your happiness. Freedom, joy, harmony, peace, love. I feel like you're saying, like, I would be so happy if they would just end it. Let's get one more. Show me the Ace of Cups. You love this person. You want to be with this person. You want to commit with this person. Or is this person stuck in a marriage? Show me Ace of Cups, please. Show me Ace of Cups. I mean, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here. Happiness. Nine of Pentacles. That's single. Virgo. Ah, six of wands. Victory. You're going to get what you want. Under that we have, there's that Leo. Good news. Hmm. Whatever this person is that keeps coming up in your readings and you're waiting for them to end something, you're waiting for them to walk away, I feel like you're getting it. It's coming. The single independent person. Someone's realizing their value here. Now, if this is you, you could be, I can't believe all these major arcanas that are here. You could be thinking about ending something because you're unhappy and someone doesn't treat you fairly and you just want to leave and go and focus on yourself because you're realizing your value, realizing your worth. But Six of Wands is a card of exactly everything that I was just saying. Recognition, rewards, winning a battle, getting that promotion, getting noticed, getting recognized. Maybe this has something to do with the Leo moon or someone has a moon in Taurus. Because I believe, I'm not good at astrology, so don't hold me to it. But today is, what, the 21st. And I believe we are in a Leo moon right now. Let's pull a few Kipper cards. And see, this person, this person has done this repeatedly. You've been dealing with this person for a long time. It's like you're waiting for money or you're waiting for a lawsuit to end so you can walk away. You don't want to ask people for help, but you need help. All right, let's get some Kipper cards. I'm not going to. Hopefully you got some messages from that toil and labor. There it is. Hard work. Hard work that you do not want to do. This person, this relationship, whatever it is, just takes way too much effort. I feel like somebody is so unhappy, but if they would just let go of something, look what, look what happens when you let go. It's the Sun card, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. You could even, if you're in a relationship, right? And you're in an unhappy relationship and you're not walking away or you're thinking about walking away, but you're not taking the action to do it. You're not allowing anything new to come into your life. See, sometimes you have to close a door so that a new one can open because if the universe sees that you have too much going on in your life, they're like, well, we're not going to send in this new person until they clean up this, this mess over here. And they're free because this is a card about freedom this is a card about being single this is a card about happiness i just feel like whenever this ends you're going to be really happy and if you're afraid to be single or afraid that you won't be able to take care of yourself don't worry about that show me one more for scorpio please show me scorpio Privileged lady. <laughs> Let's take one more. 
See, that's you, Scorpio. Occupation. Ooh. Someone might be getting a promotion here. Six of Wands, Occupation, and Privileged Lady. Main Male. Interesting. This Privileged Lady is too much work at your place of employment. There's a lot of effort here around this Privileged Lady. This might even be like a spoiled energy. It's like... I'm getting that same energy as the top row. Like, why are you giving so much to this person who doesn't give you anything back? Because you're a Scorpio. You're compassionate. You're kind. You're sweet. You're loving. You're a cup. You're a water sign. I don't know. I feel like I could be reading for my male Scorpios. We have a child here that's very spoiled. All right, I'm going to pull you some advice. I, you know, I don't like to just keep dwelling on these readings. Let's see what final messages we get for Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio for end of August 2020. Is there a lot of, um, yeah, you got that September again. Something's happening for you in September. Maybe even September 1st. September 12th. All right, let's get some advice. Show me the advice for Scorpio, please. Advice for Scorpio. You see clearly now. Yay! Take one more. So, maybe you have been confused about this decision for a long time, and you're finally going to do it. You're getting up your confidence. And you're going to walk away from something. Show me Scorpio. Final messages. Advice. I'll take that one right there. See the big picture. And bottom of the deck. Ooh, now is a lucky time, Scorpio. Something really good's coming in for you, Scorpio. There's a big shift here. There's big changes here. All right, with that said, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.